Hey, fake ass niggas, man. Nigga, yo, the nigga when we squashed our issue, the nigga said he been had my address. Bitch, I ain't moved. The fuck is you go on Twitter again, told my what's his address? You said you been had it, nigga. The fuck is you talking about? You gonna be the first rapper, I'm gonna make sure you got to prove it. It's fine. I ain't never, ain't nothing ever, ever happened to me before. Me gonna have to be the first. I swear. It gonna have to be the first. Or else, we not finna believe you, my nigga. I told you, I stopped believing you. Matter of fact, let's go live. We on every platform right about now. Here we go. This nigga just keep talking all this bullshit, man. I don't know why he think, I ain't never hear this nigga talk this gangster to nobody. Boy, you almost got kicked out of Master's house when you try to fire on Travis Scott, but Michael Rubin told you you better be a better be a good old boy and apologize to that nigga, boy. You ran over there and apologized to that nigga, Travis Scott, nigga, because you was drunk, nigga, off some perks. Now you super gangster with me because I don't know no white man that can tell you to stop. Told me why the governor told you. Nigga, what are you talking about? What is me talking about? Talking about, oh, when I get back, I'm going to be in front of Meek. You not about to be in front of nothing. Don't come to my, listen, me, you, matter of fact, you're invited to my house. You, don't come with nobody else. Anybody else on my property will handle a calling. You're allowed. You come on my property and whatever you think you finna do, don't do when I ain't here. Do it when I'm here. But I know, I know the gangster's trick with this. You know what the gangster's trick is? Yo, he's, yo, he's here to trick the black man. This is why I can't respect you gangster niggas. Y'all niggas like, the, yo, yo, over time, y'all. Whole gangster image eroded. You see, once we met niggas like King Vaughn and shit like that, we realized that's what a real gangster is. Anytime he had problems, he handled it. Niggas like you, you always got an excuse. Yo, I can't wait to see 6 9 I'm going to make an example. You see 6 9 yo, he the police. He trying to trick me off the streets. Nigga, which is it? Are you an activist? You a killer? You start tweeting all that shit about me just because you ain't think I was going to say... Bitch, my address is public. It's on Google. When are you going to pull up? And don't pull up and be like, hey, I'm pissing on his mailbox, y'all. Bro, the only time you should be taking out your dick freak millies for when you whip motherfucking Diddy, nigga. That's kind of funny. But let's get back to the origin of things. Let me just calm myself down. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I came on with a lot of energy. I'm going to tell you why. Because y'all might be like, Ack, why are you talking like that? If y'all gonna co-sign anybody, you gotta you gotta realize everybody got families, everybody got situations. Meek got online and said, "Send me his address. I'm pulling up to his house to shoot a music video, and I'm gonna piss on his steps." Y'all should know already with everything I've been through, I don't take those words lightly. You're playing with your own health, and you're playing with the health of mine. I'm not into that. Boy, you mad because niggas said you sucked a cock? That ain't my concern. But you got to watch how you throwing threats around. But let me tell you something about Meek Mill. Meek Mill think he's invincible. I talk to all these rappers that are cool with him. They're all scared of him. I don't know why it is. He's going to have to show me why they're scared of him. Because every time I talk to them, they all admit to me in privacy, yeah, he's stupid as fuck. But, you know, it's Meek. Like, why don't you just tell me he's wrong? Nobody want to tell him that. So he gonna have to prove to me. He's a, it's the first time I'm I'm at the cross I'm at the cross point in my life in my career with the rapper. I need him to prove to me. And when he proves to me, I'm gonna be like, yo, y'all, he was right. But until then, Ben, I'm not listening to no nigga who went to jail for a wheelie and cried for six months. I got him crying like two months ago, talking about how some white nigga saved his life. Him and bunny hopping for all these weirdo niggas. He talking about, he buying, you know what I mean, vibrating panties and dildos and then talking about the Atlanta life is so freaky, but then he mad because another nigga accused him of doing gay shit. Nigga, you got to explain yourself. You That ain't me. So let's talk, Meek. Your music ain't finna sell. I don't care what type of issue you got with me. I, Meek, let me tell you this. I talked to Atlantic. I've been getting a six-figure check off them for a long time. They dropped you. I know. They said you were ass. They said you were trash. You were irrelevant to the current climate of music. You have been stuck sounding old for dumb long. But it's the same thing when last night somebody hit me up saying that was I down to get on the phone with you. And I said, bro, I already did this. Like, why are we even talking again? And they said, no, Meek Mill didn't understand the internet. And I said, you mean a 45-year-old man, which, by the way, Meek, you call me old, but you older than me. You mean a 45-year-old man who been in this game forever don't understand the internet? What do you mean he don't understand? No, he thought you made it. What do you mean he thought I made it up? Are you dumb or stupid, Meek? 
So let's actually put some things into um perspective if we're going to recap this whole thing. I've been told y'all, there's, there's a couple niggas who are just the stupidest niggas in the game. Meek Miller's one nigga I nominate, he's the dumbest nigga possible. If you can tell by his lack of grammar, if you can tell by his lack of sense of um, self-awareness, if you can tell by how he carries himself on social media, how you the only nigga in hip-hop that killed your own career by how you tweeted, nigga? If you had given your fucking Twitter to a label like the majority of artists does, your career would have been much better. You tweeted yourself out your spot. Now you're going to make up all type of shit. Did you know this dumb nigga actually got online today talking about, yo, it was AI? The lawsuit is AI made up? Is this nigga dumber? What? Are y'all going to allow this to happen? This one stupid nigga. I'm telling you, all that tough shit he talking about, Meek, let me tell you when I stop believing you because you, you know what you're, you're shocked about? You're like, oh my God. Well, I told him I'm going to beat him up. Well, I seen you fight. You can't fight it. We could down, I'm down to squabble. You down? We could set up through Savage anything. You want to get up, uh, 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 you want to get some money? We could set up some, somewhere else. We could set up to Savage, just me and you. I'm down to squabble with you. I really don't think you could fight and I really don't think you want no problems with me and I really don't respect your hands, nothing. If you beat me up, so what? I don't care, but that's how much of a bitch I think you are. Let's talk about it. I wouldn't say this to half the other niggas in hip-hop because I don't think they like you. I just think you a hoe. I'm sorry. So I'm at the point where I'm like, the nigga who I think can't fight, who think he got some money, but he not, like, nigga, you just, like, two years ago, you was talking about you down to the last million. I remember you was, was sitting with Charlemagne looking all weak in the Bahamas. Like, damn. This is a nigga who think, like, what, oh, you, you got some money? Everybody got money. You a house slave now. You run around doing bunny hops. You go from here to there, nigga. I was at the Super Bowl, so was you. You was fixing Michael Rubin coffee, nigga. I seen it. It was in a box. I seen you, nigga. What is he doing? Is he fix? Oh, my God. Meek is over here. Oh my. Meek is over here fixing this nigga fucking coffee. Nigga, you like a house slave these days. What's popping? So it's all good. Let's talk some facts, though. Okay? Here's the reality of things, people. Meek Mill is as delusional as they come. His issue, if you ask him with me, stems from years ago. He started getting to beef. By the way, I also blew up at that time. I'm not going to lie. That was a major moment. I know some of y'all keep saying Warren Chirac, but the most major moment in me blowing up was 2015 when Drake and Meek Beef erupted. I was the number one person to report on it, and I reported on everything. During me reporting on that uh, um, beef, I've never met Drake. I never talked to Drake. I had limited conversations even with people that was on his team. I spoke a lot to Meek Mill's team. Coon Philly, I don't know if you fuck with Meek anymore, but you remember those conversations. Through conversations with Meek and his, Meek and his team, I realized Meek Mill was nothing more. Me, not because he's rich means he has any type of smarts. He's in half an idiot. And I've always treated him like that because once you realize someone is barely, you know, even he's barely coherent and he's, he, he, he's barely even like barely legible and he could barely even write. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I'll tell you how I came to that conclusion. Meek Mill not understanding what Internet culture is, which to me was shocking, because if you have been popping past 2013, your fans have never purchased a CD of yours, most likely. They have streamed your music. They have consumed it online. They have tweeted it. They have talked about it on social media. That's really how things go. But here's the problem with a nigga like me. He's stupid. He's stupid. And he thinks he's like a rapper in the 90s. Or he thinks he's above everything and that people were always going to fuck with him. That's why when he fell off this time, he was so shocked. He never engaged with internet culture. Meek, I'm giving you, listen, I'm going to get to the roast in you, but I'm telling you why you fell off. I'm telling you why. Listen, I heard the whole situation from motherfucking Atlantic Records. They didn't want to renew your shit. They dropped you. They dropped you like a bad habit. All this, oh, I'm independent shit. Yeah, nigga, they said they wasn't going to sign you because they wasn't going to pay you what, what you were supposed to get. You know why? They knew you were a nigga who was too stubborn, a nigga who kept saying the streets, the streets, the streets. And at the end of the day, the streets don't buy your fucking records, nigga. 
It's them fans on the internet. But you didn't care about that. That's why you're sitting here like, I'm independent. I'm, I'm giving you the game. That's why you look fucking stupid. So let me continue the story. Meek's team tells me that the only reason why Drake is winning the beef is because Drake purchased a million bots. Does that sound familiar? Does anybody watch his timeline from yesterday? Has he said the same thing? Here's the sad part about it. He's been saying the same dumb shit for 10 years. That's why it's even more sad. He doesn't learn. He doesn't understand internet culture. He doesn't know that the, the like, if you understand internet culture, if people see you bothered by the trolling, they'll troll you more. He doesn't understand that if you're beefing with a popular rapper like a Drake and he, basically they felt you caught an L because you were low, you're, you're slow to respond and he had a hot song. They're going to spam L's under your comments. This delusional motherfucker was literally saying, Ack, could you could you change up the shit that I could win? That's what this nigga is mad about. You know why it's so surprising? He's sucking Drake's dick now. Drake's bringing him out like a fucking baby. Drake brought him out in Philly like, yeah, look, look remember when I killed your career? Look, they, they'll like you now. Come on, nigga. Come on. <laughs> Hurry up. Yeah, that's Meek. Yeah, that's the nigga I killed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, he right there. He's right there. Nigga, you loving it. Your career never been the same. The boy killed your career, brought you back out, and my whole thing is you're smiling like a fucking fan with that nigga, but you're mad at me. But let's go back to the root problem of Meek Mill. He's a gangster who never has gangster energy with the people he should have gangster energy with. Drake, he couldn't wait for Drake to say, oh, I'm over it. We could be friends. Oh, my God, Drake, I love you. I love you, Drake. I love you, Drake. I love you. Okay. The niggas in the city that have been calling him out from ARAB to all these other people. Oh, my God. He's acting like he don't know them. Even the nigga who's actually, and I'm going to show y'all, has a picture with him, the nigga who sued him. He had no problem with. I equivalented. Actually, that's my might not even be a word. Ugh. But me being mad at me over this whole situation, and I'm gonna go back and forth. Just keep the keep the timeline in your head. Me being mad at me in this situation is like a nigga walking in the room, licking his hand and slapping the fuck out of Meek Mill. When he slaps Meek Mill, I'm like, oh shit, and I'm laughing. Meek is standing in front of the nigga who slapped him, but Meek turns to me and says, bitch ass nigga, what's so funny, nigga? What the fuck is so funny, nigga? What's up? What up? What, what you want to do? What, what you want to do? And I'm like, wait, are you mad at me for laughing or you're mad at the nigga who slapped you? The whole time, he ain't acknowledging the nigga who slapped him. The whole time, you know how the story goes? Diddy gossiped to a man who's a producer, allegedly, that said he fucked Meek. Me could have came out and said, what oh, that bitch ass nigga talk, did he talk about me for? Why the hell this bitch ass producer lying on me and did he? Never said none of that. You know what he said? Ack, you're the problem. Huh? But let's go back. Let's go back. So I told you about the delusion, right? He said, well, he's only losing the beef with, with Drake because Drake has bought all the bots in the world. I was confused. I was like, huh? Then I see the true nature of Meek Mill. Drake comes to Philly. I showed up to Philly. I had to see it. I said, no way. Meek got to run on stage. This isn't Philly. Like, they're, it's the height of their beef. Meek going to run up on stage and slap Drake. He's a gangster rapper. <laughs> How silly was I believing this ultra superhero gangster image that these guys promote? <laughs> Basically, not a motherfucking thing happened. Drake left very safely. He arrived very safely. Not a hair on his head was harmed. You know what happened the next week? Meek's team calls me again. Yo, Ack! You them pussy niggas thought they got us. I'm like, oh, shit. Y'all beat up Drake. What's going on? Tell me. Nah, son. What, what are you talking about? Drake? Nah, what? Uh, fuck? Nigga, we called Quinn Miller. Huh? Yeah, we called him. Why y'all telling me this? Yo, man, I told you, man. This We from the trenches, nigga. Like, all that, like, trenches, we from the streets, niggas from Philly. I'm like, what is this guy talking about? Now, by the way, to be honest, Meek didn't say it was, it was 
his manager or nothing. But they all represent me, right? So, okay. So, yo! We just beat up Quentin Miller. We gonna send you the, the, the footage. I'm like, ah, well, I'm not like TMZ like that. But I guess. Uh, and also, I was thinking, damn, that's kind of fucked up. Y'all beat up the guy who was just writing music? What the fuck is it? They're like, no, we got... They say, matter of fact, we ain't gonna send you the footage. Let's wait till he's annoyed. Luckily for Quentin Miller, he just admitted it. Yeah, I got beat up. Whatever. But it dawned on me. How come Meek got his career killed by Drake and never talked that crazy to Drake that he was going to do nothing, never did nothing to Drake, but the ghostwriter, he was so happy about beating up. That was surprising to me. Damn. That couldn't be a trend, right? The gangsters usually keep the gangsters with the gangsters, right? All right. Then a little bit later on happened. I get another call. It's BT. Oars weekend. I'm in LA. Yo, so we got him. Yeah, we just we just jumped that nigga. I'm like, oh shit. Y'all don't fucked up champagne poppy? What happened? Tell me the tea. Drake? What? What, nigga, what the fuck? We ain't have no Drake. We got Safari! Yeah, son, we pulled up on him, nigga. You should have seen my face when I hopped out the SUV. I was looking devious. Did you hit him? Nah, but the goons was there. Okay. A few hours later, seen a video, me copping out. Safari running. They chase him like wild hyenas. That was that. Interesting. But there was another situation, but it happened previously. Talking to him, I said, hey, I heard there was, I heard Meek got beat up by a problem in, in the airport. Is that, uh, 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 no, we don't want to talk about that. Hmm. That's interesting. I've been waiting for the tough guy to be tough with the other tough guy, or at least the people he was really beefing with. It never happened. So now it's coming to the point where Meek has unanimously lost the beef. His career is not the same. His booking price is abysmal. He's fell off. This is the time I'm thinking, oh, I knew Drake fucked up. You finally got this nigga to crash out because... It's one thing beating a nigga in the beef. It's another thing killing his whole career. It's time. I told you, this nigga from the trenches. He's from Philly. He's about to go crazy. I see Meek pop up, and he said, I'm going to make an example. I said, oh, shit. Finally. <laughs> OVO is done. Uh, even though I'm like, oh, my God, that's my favorite rap. You know what he said? Yo, 6 9 where you at? You want to hear the irony? 6 9 just got locked up for a Rico charge. He was now tweeting that his new focus was to eliminate 6 9 after he had gotten incarcerated. Why is that funny? When Shoddy was out here shooting everybody, I can say it now he got charged for everything. Shoddy had 6 9 meet Meek Mill. They were cool. Wasn't until 6 9 went to jail. Now Meek was, yo, let's go! You ever seen that, that meme where two dogs are barking at each other and there's a divider in the middle? Like, ruff, 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 ruff. And as soon as the divider go up, they're like, Meek Millie. We can't find nobody tough he's been tough with. We don't know what he's done. We seen a video. Did I see this? Oh, 
Oh, yeah, I must have not seen this because this is not popping up instantly. The guy who claims that he's going to show up to my doorstep and he's with the murder business and he's going to. And by the way, let me actually go read his tweet if it's still up there. All right. Let's go read this nigga's tweet while he's still up there. Meek, I know I know the real reason you're mad at me. You're right. I am one of the reasons your career is where it's at. That's why you mentioned Lil Baby. Because you know once y'all niggas get on my bad side, none of y'all careers look the same no more. What they saying about Baby? The thing is, Baby just don't act like you. Me and him, we can reconcile and he'll be get, get back lit. You're done. <laughs> you're done. <laughs> you're going to be the, I'm the independent warrior. I'm here fighting against the system. No, you're fighting against irrelevance. And we're going to laugh at you just flopping. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> It's just going to be what it is. So let's kind of scroll all the way back. But we all know he deleted a lot of tweets because of his daddy, which just happens to be Michael Rubin, Robert Kraft, and a Pennsylvania governor who we don't even know his name. You get what I mean? Now, let me go down. By the way, it, 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 this is another weirdo thing you're going to realize. This nigga been promoting his whack mixtape at in the midst of a gay rumor. This is how you know this nigga is just done. Right? But you know he's going to say no, the white... Yo, Meek, you could never accuse me of being fueled by the white man. You're fucking, you're, my nigga, you're getting spit roasted by Michael Rubin and motherfucking Robert Kraft. Two white billionaires who we honestly, as a group, in terms of hip hop people, don't even think they like black people. You're getting spit roasted by them, nigga. That's a fact. You're bunny hopping. You're doing all the weirdest shit. So I don't know what you're talking about. I'm getting fueled by, which white man? You tell me. Who? Because the white man we know you to be with, you're getting spit roasted by. Your bitch ass didn't buy a motherfucking ticket to the Super Bowl. You were making coffee for motherfucking Michael Rubin in the $2.5 million suite he had. So who's powered by who, nigga? How are you independent when you got a billionaire got you up in a suite where you're goddamn giving him shoulder rubs and you're, you're massaging his ankles and all that shit? Come on, stop playing. Anyway, let's get back to it. Chat, we're, we're going to have to force Meek to get gangster, okay? Oh, by the way, we're going to talk about this fries picture. It's hilarious. Where can we find all the shit that we should find? Okay. Here we go. Okay. <clears throat> so, the point, what I said before earlier, Meek tweeted this, a rumor came out, and this was the most pathetic thing I heard last night. They said, bro, because I said, why did Meek just not just tweet out, hey, that's false? Why did he wait for this long thing and then uh, address me and not the rumor? They said, oh, Meek don't understand the internet. I'm sorry, Meek is not like a little kid. Meek, you call me old, but you older than me. Boy, you're just an old, washed-up rapper that we finna laugh at, nigga. Your time, like, yo, Meek, remember when I told you Remember when I celebrated last time? I knew you were done doing 100K. That's why I said over 100K is a big dog. Because you'll never be that again. That's why I laughed at you. It was over. I don't care what you say. And I know you're going to have it against me. Even when we squash beef. Everybody, oh, let me give you this part of the story. This is why I'm done with Freak Millie trying to be a tough guy. So Savage calls me one day. And he said, Ack, I'm going to be honest with you. The issue with you and me is getting, is getting like out of hand. Y'all keep having these flare-ups, and I'm cool with both of y'all. You know, I fuck with you, and I fuck with him. I'm that type of person who I never wanted to get to a certain point because I told you once you get to a certain point, niggas can't play the middle. Niggas got to pick sides. And I don't want to pick sides with y'all. I fuck with both of y'all. Would you be down to holler at me? And try to squash whatever y'all had. And I said to him, I said, of course. I said, honestly, I've been trying to be, I've been trying to speak to Meek for over four to five years. Meek has an ego that he thinks he's like some super, like not only super gangster, but like everybody's beneath him. The previous time before before I spoke, spoke to Meek then was on Clubhouse. And the time before that, he messaged me with 30 dream chasers in a in a Instagram DM like he was going to verbally jump me. Like everything he said, 
it, it, I don't know if he told the Dream Chaser, but everybody was liking everything. <laughs> as soon as he said something, 30 niggas liked it. I was like, is this a verbal jumping? Is this nigga jumping me in, in the Instagram DMs? What the fuck going on? But he refused to ever speak to me one-on-one -on -one because he claimed I was beneath him. I was nothing. I was dirt. Right? Okay, he could have his opinion, whatever. Then he jumped on Clubhouse and he was like, oh, no, I'm a problem. This and third. By the way, also, let's get back to the even the 6 9 situation when he said he was getting that 6 9 you met 6ix9ine, nothing. When 6 ix is free, don't say nothing. When 6 ix 9 gets locked up, he's now activated because he's standing for the streets. He's going to restore it. I'm not no street dude. I don't care about it. 6 ix 9 had cut a record before he got locked up for me um, on my birthday. He said, Act, I don't have a birthday present for you, but we're going to load up a beat. I'm going to make a song. It's your song. Whatever you want to do it, do with it. It's a song called Lanes. We did the song. He got locked up. Um, we had to like I had to get somebody to reproduce the beat, but I but I reproduced the beat. Um, Six Nine was the most liked person because you know he was always beefing people. But that was my birthday present. It was the song. I tried to put the song out. Meek Mill jumps in my comments saying, "Yo, son," because this is what Meek thought he was. And Meek, this is what I'm telling you. As you're at the bottom of hip hop, I laugh at you, nigga. Remember I told you I'm looking at you now and I'm laughing at you because there's a moment. Remember that moment when you thought you could tell me. What I could do. Meek told me, you can't put that song out. We're done with it. Who's we? Bitch, we done with you. Meek, I'm telling you this solemnly, nigga. You will never sell 100000 again. And I don't care. You could kill me or not. I could be alive, dead, or I could be wherever. You'll never do it. It's over for you, nigga. So anyway, he told me, yo, you can't put that out. We done with 6 9 I was like... Okay, weirdo. <laughs> I spent like I spent about like fifty thousand getting shit together. I'm sorry, I'm putting that shit out. Anyway, I put it out. But I noticed I was like, why does Meek Mill think he could tell anybody in hip hop what to do? Like he's some authority figure. But that's how and I blame y'all niggas in Philly to make this nigga think he's the king of the world. What y'all think he the only platform? What y'all think that he's the most lit nigga? Okay. Philly, I'm gonna give y'all this proposal because y'all must think he that nigga's irrelevant. He ain't break one artist from Philly yet. I'll help y'all break because that nigga is just a waste man. So let me just put that on the table. So anyway, after that, I was like, okay, this guy's a little weird. We get on Clubhouse. He's turning up, talking about he could do this, do that. I'm like, what is this guy talking about? Then Savage gets us on the phone, right? We get on the phone, and when we get on the phone, Meek Mill, as I keep saying, he's a fake. He's the representative of what rap isn't anymore. Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all. In hip-hop, you're going to find some people who are like King Von. God rest his soul, but King Von was really who he is. King Von is really that. Meek Mill is a rapper that comes from the older style of hip-hop where you're living off this perception. I'm not even hating on him. I'm just telling you what it is. The perception has been broken. We've watched you bunny hop, get bitched, get laughed at, get clowned by white billionaires to the point that all this killer shit you're talking about, we don't believe. 6 9 popped out with you, and all you did was record. You're the Mr. Pull Your Phone Out. You're not Mr. Pull the Glock Out. You're not walk him down. You're walk back to the car. It's fine. It's okay. By the way, let me put that into the air. I'm not saying you should crash out. But when you do act like you're going to crash out, that's when we say, ah, don't believe you. That's why when you say, ah, I'm about to pull up to your house. Ah. Oh, you're going to peel my steps? You know what you're going to do? You're going to do what, what, what 6 9 did. Hey, I'm here. Look, I'm peeing on the steps. Yo, where's academics? 5 a.m. Thank you. Okay. So, okay. Or black. Hey, I'm at academics house. Ding dong. I think he's coming. Freak Millie. We not believe you. So, your, your perception is, is kind of off. You haven't even aged and aged gracefully. You see the thing, the difference between a nigga like you and Jay-Z. First of all, you're dumb. But the difference with Jay -Z, you and Jay-Z is that Jay-Z was a hustler. But as he went on in his life, he, he began to evolve and mature. And that became a part of his music. If you listen to Reasonable Doubt as opposed to the Black Album, and if you listen to the Black Album as opposed to uh, um, um, American Gangster, or you listen to that as opposed to 444, you will see a guy who is maturing and growing. We've been listening to you for 15 years, and you still talk about the old Dusty Rowley. You still talking about the same shit, except you just don't sound believable. 
You don't think there's other niggas who are actually, you know, them other niggas who talking about killing and spinning? They're actually broke. They actually might do it. They actually seem to be doing it. They actually be having charges. You? Not so much. So that's the problem with you. So let me give you a description of how the conversation went. And I never was going to speak on this before. Remember, I was accept I was acknowledging a truce because I fuck with 21 Savage. Keep in mind, I'm going to tell you the story later. Less than a month or two ago, half of Philly, and I'm not going to call no rappers names cuz I don't want them to he, him cuz he's been blackballing them. Like half of them like I don't even want to interview cuz like He's like, I remember the first time I posted pound side pop, he was mad saying, oh, you're just, so now he's put pound side pop as, by the way, I think pound side pop had paid for a promo. No disrespect to you, pound side, I'm not even trying to disrespect you. He, his team, so not you, but like your team, whatever you signed to, they were trying to get some on a song or whatever. He made it a big issue saying, if niggas post you, they they are with the like a whole thing. So essentially, and you know, I'm at the top of the black blogosphere when it comes to music. Now you're kind of getting blackballed because you and Meek don't see eye to eye. At that time, and I'll tell you, acknowledging this, so when Meek told that blackball shit, yes, y'all were getting blackballed, not him, because we don't want to be into it with Meek because he keep talking like he's the toughest nigga alive. So I don't want to post you because Meek Mill gonna get mad, think I'm trying to antagonize him. OT7 Kwani, I been want to interview you. I got put on to your music. I thought you was fire. I don't want to do, like he even said, act, why you want to? I said, bro, bro, it's, it's the Meek Mill thing. Meek and his people has been sending out like, I don't know what static he got with Philly niggas, but, but I don't want to fuck with y'all because this one nigga is basically saying he got issues with y'all or he feels some type of way. So if we interview y'all, we're starting beef with him. Okay. So, let me go back to the truce conversation. So now, 21 calls me. I said, I'm down. The reason why I said I was down, Meek has had an ego. I always thought when he was calling me on social media, whether it was Clubhouse or anything else, bro, why can't, like, why do you feel like you're so much above me as a man to just say, act, I just didn't like when you did this. Could we just talk? Only time he ever mentioned me once, he said I had posted something and um no, it was funny. It was actually really weird, actually. He posted, I think he had a kid. I don't know his kids. He posted a picture of his kid, but it was kind of blurred out with the face. And you know, like we do that. It's not like we're being shady or nothing like that. We'll be like, oh hey, congrats to whoever they have a child. He was announcing to the world he had a child. So he posted it. We took his post, we put it up on a page, congrats to Meek Mill, he has a kid. Now, again, Meek is one of them insecure niggas who read comments. My comment section has never been too nice to him. So when I posted him, he got mad and he hit me up saying, hey, could you take my kid off your page? People are saying nasty things. Hey, even though I could have hit the technicality, you posted it, bubba. You got it, brother. It's your child. I'm not trying to violate. Cool, whatever, whatever. Okay. So now... um. He's just never been able, he's never, he's never thought I was worthy of a conversation. And I always told you, you can't bother with people who don't respect you enough to engage. That's Meek Mill. Now, when Savage came in, he said, yo, he wants to set it up. I said, fine. We get on the phone. The first very minute, and, and again, I'm not bringing Savage in this at all. I don't need him to validate nothing because I don't want bitch ass Meek Mill to be like, yo, tell the world that he's lying. That's what you did with Dean. Like, tell the world he's like, no, nigga, I have good memory. The first minute you 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 get on the phone with me, you're in a car. I don't know if you stopped the car, pulled the car over, nigga, you hopped out the car and showed the car and say, act. You know what type of nigga I am? This car right here bulletproof. And I'm looking at you like, bro, we're having a convo to squash our issues. But even then, you're cosplaying as this big gangster who's untouchable, who's a killer. Bro, we never seen each other. We don't know each other. Why the hell in the conversation we trying to... It's like you telling me how much you a killer and you ready to... Be. Bro, could we just talk about like the things that we're upset about that we can squash this shit? Half the conversation is him peacocking as this super gangster then he says yo i ain't gonna lie to you yo son 
And this is where, hey, listen, James Harden, you barely scoring points. Say, I ain't going to the playoffs or doing a motherfucking thing, so you probably got time to respond to it. You know me snitching, so he snitched on you. He said, you know what James Harden told me? I'm like, what did he tell you about, like a play, like a basketball play? What the fuck could James Harden tell you about? I said, man, James Harden told me that when 6 9 popped out on me. No, he said, before 6 9 popped out on me, James Harden told me, yo, bro, I hear academics and 6 9 and and James Harden, if I'm lying, I need you to address this. If Meek never told you that, you tell me that, that I could say Meek's a liar. Again, I don't want to put Savage in this. He don't got to vouch for nobody. That's exactly what Meek said. Ack, one of my issues with you is that James Harden told me that you and 6 9 plotted to randomly pop out on me. So I even asked him, and I'm telling you, this is a brain dead dummy. I said, okay, I know you think me and 6 9 are like, you know, in cahoots with everything. 6 9 has done a lot of stuff. Going to O Block, he's going to Crenshaw, he's done a lot of stuff. Why would you think me and him are in that? So, well, James Harden told me. I'm trying to explain to him because remember, we're squashing beef. I'm like, yo, bro. I, I don't know where I don't I've never met James Harden. I don't know how James Harden would have any conversation or know any conversation I have. Everybody know me and me and six nine, like we are cool. I'm not gonna sit here and deny it. But we're gonna like have to use our common sense. Why would I plan if I've never planned anything violent, if I've never planned anything that's crazy in terms of physical confrontations, why would I have six nine or me and him plan for him to jump out on you knowing that I thought y'all hate each other and someone could die. You don't think that I would be thinking about if somebody die, I'm going to be in court saying I planned it? Like, no, he was like, James Harden told me that. By the way, go back to the year that this happened. James Harden had his worst year. So clearly James Harden should have been drug tested or that nigga was on some shit or Meek's a fucking liar and a snitch. But we're going to get to the snitch shit in a little bit. So the whole time we're having conversation, this nigga is full on delusional. Yeah, nah, it's something like this. Yo, I'm from the trenches. And I'm sitting here listening to this grown man who's over 35. Keep every 20 seconds. Yo, in the trenches from my hood in Philly. That's all he talks about. He talks like a GTA character. In Philly, from the trenches, what we do. This is how we give it up. This is, yo, listen, real niggas. And I'm like, Meek, I'm talking to you. Remeek, Remeek. Fuck the Meek Mill shit because you're... Meek is one of the people who is stuck in character. And this is why I'm trying to tell him, Meek, I'm giving, you the, I'm giving you the diagnosis to your failures. You're stuck in character. When you talk, you talk in character. Yo, we from the trenches. Yo, niggas from Philly could never be gay. I'm from the streets. Just relax. It's okay. This is not 2002. So this is happening the entire time. Eventually, and thanks to the help of Savage, we get to a medium. Says, hey, listen, man. He says, yo, bro, honestly, man. Yeah, you've done shit to piss me off. I said, well, you've done things to make me upset as well. And we both come to the thing to say, nobody wants to crash out over this shit. Both living good lives. Nobody wants to crash out. But we don't want to keep disrespecting each other. Here's the agreement we came to. We had each other's numbers. I knew his number from the call. He knew my number. I said, listen, we're not going to, like, you know, we're not going to violate each other, do whatever. Um, and if, if, if you do see anything that either one of us says, just call each other's phones. Pretty simple. Just going to take it down. You know what I mean? Like, I think he had mentioned, like, you know, certain times people in his family is asking him, like, yo, damn, why Ax said this? I said, all right, cool. We have each other's number. Cool. Now, that's then. Now, y'all can tell me if I'm wrong. My understanding of that, and he even acknowledged on the phone, I report rap news. I'm still going to be reporting if you did something right, something wrong. Um, there was a long time I didn't post him on my page at all. He started following my pages back, and I was just like, you know what? <laughs> the problem with me, too, me, and remember I told you he thinks he's bigger than everything? What he won't admit his career, remember when I told Meek, I'm done posting you? You tell me where his careers went. Y'all tell me. I'll sit here and pour up. Y'all tell me. Because remember, he was one of those egotistical people who told me on Clubhouse 
Nigga, you think I give a fuck about your page, nigga? I got bitches with more followers than you. Where's his career went? I'll sit here and I'll... I'll sip while y'all try to tell me about that. The problem is that ego with Meek. As he tries to compare me to Aiden and whatever. Here's the reality, Meek. I'm one of the biggest voices in hip-hop. And when I told people how lame you were, nigga, I'm not saying I told people not to fuck with you. But your music and the lack of quality also helped. But also the cosplay as a gangster helped. But also 15 other things, including you and Drake and all that shit helped. That's why your career is where it's at. This overinflated ego and sense of self where you think that, yo, whatever, whatever. You over here celebrating that, oh, your shit went number one on iTunes. Do you, do you want to wait till I tweet out what this EP does? And I'll tweet out what your last EP did when you were lit. You don't want that. Because it's not going to do good. Again, going back to the point. Meek has, you know, um, been in this, like, you know, we call the truce. I thought, you know, all right, cool. I've seen him do weird things. There was a situation where people were tweeting some false video of like somebody screaming and I'm walking in here and and, and they, they incorrectly lumped it to a, a situation which wasn't true. Um, I think I've explained that before. I'll explain it again. It was like that person was fucking, uh, that person, me and that person fell out. Um, I said some shit about them. They saw them th themselves getting covered on blogs and stuff like that. Not in the most favorable way. They were upset. They were like, damn, why would you put me out there like that? Okay. Meek was on Twitter. Hyphen that up. What? What's this? Whole time I'm thinking, I'm like, Meek, I thought we got a little truce, but whatever. You know, I ain't see him say nothing more. Ah, whatever. You know when he gets mad at me? Let's go to the clip. Now, keep in mind, this is a clip of me reading a lawsuit by someone named Little Rod. Yeah, I watched the stream. I read it. And I have to keep, I have to let y'all know, this genius meek thought I made this up. That's why he responded like this. But let me show you what he reacted to. Let's go. He did not, it, it did not say meek mill name. Wait. Oh, oh, hold up. Never mind. Wait, what the fuck? I forgot. Look, Mr. Combs informed Mr. Jones that he had engaged in sexual intercourse with rapper five. That's redacted. Look, five. He's a Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. Yo, Meek. We were playing around with that Michael Rubin shit. But if you don't, you've been tweeting about, every, nigga, you've been tweeting about everything on planet Earth. If you don't get a Twitter rant saying you about to get Lil Rod killed, you about to shoot up his block, blow his mama's house up. This nigga is saying that you and Diddy were fornicating. What the fuck? Meek. He did not, it, it did not say me. Okay. So that was the clip. World Star posted it. Then listen to Meek Mill. And, and the reason why I'm speaking to Meek Mill like this, I will not let him use the same little fallacies he keep using. You know, the gangster fallacies is these things when the, you know they're not going to do nothing. They're, they said, yo, I'm going to kill you. So now everybody like, oh, my God, Meek is finally about to catch his 15th body in the world. Okay. But, it, it, and by the way, I'm going to give, I'm giving y'all tutorials on how to deal with all, well, not all of these niggas. Niggas like Meek Mill. Because if you were dealing with a nigga like King Von like that, you'll get killed. But niggas like Meek Mill. So let me give you the tutorial. Yo, act when I see you, I'm about to kill you. Yo, you know what you got to say? All right, I could only die once, kill me. You know what you're going to be like? Man, yo, you just trying to trick me off the streets, man. Yo, this is why you bad for the... Which is it, nigga? When you tell them, all right, cool, just do what you want to do. They're like, oh, you trying to trick me off the streets. This nigga wasn't going to do nothing anyway. So after a time, you figure out the frauds. Meek, just a fraud. You feel me? So anyway, he says, the way you niggas coming on, coming on, uh, on the sick now, I can't wait to meet academics. Okay. LOL, they know I drop tomorrow. This day damage control. This net getting too weird. Bitch ass niggas ain't going to play no games with me. They try to do damage control. This is the same thing they almost tricked y'all with little baby. Let me tell you why. This small-brained idiot said that. 
Meek Mill and Little Baby actually feel like I hurt their career. But you, you see everybody keep calling Little Baby men now? You know they think that, that I, I'm not I'm not bullshitting y'all. They I, I'm not bullshit I'm not bullshitting y'all. They actually think it's because academics has put this narrative out and everybody's adopting it. Most people don't even like me. But that's what they believe. They think that I have even though they claim I'm powerless, I'm nobody, nobody fucks with me, I'm weird. They claim I'm, Meek actually think I'm one of the reasons why his career not on the up. And Lil Baby's never said that, but he's throwing Lil Baby into it like he's speaking for both of them. You've never seen Lil Baby say that, by the way. Right? He said, he said the same thing they almost tricked y'all with Lil Baby. Okay. Academics and alcoholic fully powered by the white man who y'all think posting that on every website i just want to post you know exhibit we're going to be in court today and meek mill i'm gonna teach you a lesson okay let me teach you a lesson today my boy let me teach you the lesson today hold on What's the, uh, give me one second. Mm. Oh, here we go. I'll send out a new tweet for this one. I'll just quote his tweet. He says, oh, I got to find this tweet. Give me a second. Just send out, uh, I just want to show you how much a fraud this nigga is. Give me one second. I got to scroll. This nigga been promoting his music like he's going out of style. Here we go. Here we go. How far? I got to go back to the 28th. Give me a second. I'm scrolling. I'm at the fries in the lap. Okay, here we go. Damn, this this thing has been tweeting a lot. Okay, here we go. Let me post this picture with it. No comment even needed, right? Let's go back to his tweet. Academics is an alcoholic fully powered by the white man. Boy, you look like you want to get out, nigga. Except you happy to be there. Stupid. You with one decrepit looking nigga over here. You with Jeff Bezos, who knows what you've been doing to him? Because if Diddy on the weird shit, imagine what he's on. And I don't know what the fuck, but Michael Rubin always in all these pictures. I'm fully powered by the white man. Which one? Because you seem like you're at a bunny hopping convention right here. Freak Mill, what's going on? Now, he says, who do you think posting that on every website? They be so mad, they can't stop. It's a few groups. Okay? All right. I got to scroll down again to go back to the timeline. All right? We haven't even got to the most of the freak Millie shit. You know what I mean? Like, this is the same nigga who was um, caught... Caught asking the internet for emergency links to buy vibrating panties. The nigga who was buying 15-inch dildos. Brother, it sounds like you were ordering supplies for the freak-off. My nigga, nobody cared about your accessory shopping for the freak-off. Okay, Freak Millie? Do what you want to do. Nobody was even up in your business. 
But the way you've been violating and wilding online th th this week, we're like, yo, yo, it seems like your name was inevitable to come up in the Frico. Because that's what it is, chat. It ain't a Rico. It's a Frico at this point. But let's go. So he then says, get me his Addy. I'm going to shoot a video. I'm going to shoot a full production music video in front of his house. LOL. Seriously, get me the one in NJ. This is why I'm going to treat him like that. I don't care what none of y'all say. Elliot Wilson, get out my phone. Talk about act. Yo, yo, if you're not with me on this, please stay quiet. I don't need none of y'all. I don't care if you're an OG. No, no, don't talk to me. Period. Because y'all niggas is hoes. Straight up. I don't care if it's Elliot Wilson or anybody else. When a nigga done talked about a media personality talking about, yo, nigga, give me his house address. And y'all niggas is like, oh, I'm being diplomatic. Nigga, get out of here, nigga. Don't need you. Don't need your conversation. Shut up. And that goes for any y'all niggas. Don't talk to me about that shit. Matter of fact, I should have hit that with a block button. I don't need none of y'all niggas. Period. Because y'all niggas is never jumping in here. Like, wait, whoa. You're asking for a nigga address because you reported something. Y'all are just saying, act, why are you talking... Why are you like so lit right now? He deleted his tweets. Y'all tell me what this sounds like. Get me his Addy. This is what I don't like about this rap game. Fake tough niggas like Meek Mill is the only ones allowed. Fake tough niggas like Meek Mill is the only one allowed. Hold up, chat. Who the hell is this? with all the bullshit I think this nigga I think this bitch ass nigga Meek Mill done send the cops to my house bro Again, you know, I don't know if y'all hear my dogs and shit like that the police is out to my house now you, you see that's what I'm telling you about a nigga like Meek bro if he was really about to do nothing he would have never tweeted it bro he got the police in my town now like outside my fucking house watch this my dogs is going crazy upstairs. Holy shit. I'm telling you, this is what I'm telling you, bro. This, this nigga is just a hoe. This nigga got police at my house now, bro. Like, you over here tweeting out, like, you on my... Like, of course police going to come to my house, nigga. The fuck is you doing? Give me one second. Police at my yo, Meek Mill got the police at my house, gang. Hold up.
I'm sick of niggas, man. I'm telling yo, if me gang snitch on me, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done with rap. I swear. I promise you. If me gang snitch on me, I swear I'm done with rap. Y'all didn't see that. Man, look, nigga, I got it. Look. I, I, I might have to, I don't even know if I gotta cut the stream. Boy sent the police to my house told my what's his Addy. Look, I promise you, look, nigga, look. Look, nigga. Police, nigga. The nigga sent police to my crib, my nigga. All that gangster shit niggas is talking sent police to my crib, gang. This is crazy. All that gangster shit like he the biggest killer. The governor calling him, he sent police to my crib, I swear. Bro, this nigga, Meek, you a whole snitch, my nigga. Like, this shit is crazy. This is holy cr Like, my nigga, I'm... <laughs> Yo, this ho like if you was on whatever shit, nigga, you got my address. Why are you over here tweeting the shit, nigga? Bro, yo, give me a second, man. Let me go handle this shit, my nigga. This nigga is, bro. This nigga really got police at my crib. <laughs> yo, I'm done. Meek Mill. Meek Mill. Meek Mill. This is what your gangsterism had to do. If you was going to do anything, that's what I'm saying, nigga, you're a pussy, nigga. Me and you could have catch a fade anything, nigga. Another nigga said you was fucking gay, nigga. Nigga, yeah, of course I had a couple jokes. Everybody would have a couple jokes. Nigga, you had a couple jokes about me if there was that. Nigga, you over here got your feelings, start acting like a bitch, start tweeting about my address and shit. Nigga, what you think what you going to do when you got 12 million followers told my what's his address? What you think finna happen, nigga? You got police at my house. <laughs> If he's not a snitch, what are we talking about? Y'all niggas will get any nigga. I got the nigga. I'll put this out right on Instagram, nigga. You got police in my house. <laughs> this is crazy. Yo, chat. Y'all gotta give me a give me a little bit, man. Give me a little bit. Give me a little bit. I don't even got nothing to. I don't got nothing to play or nothing. Give me a second. I just gotta. I gotta go deal with these niggas. I can't even go out there the way I wanna go out there because I'm black. I don't want the police looking at me like that. <laughs> this nigga called police on me. This nigga say, give me his Addy, then send the police here. I'm done. I'm done. I might have to apologize to Meek after this. Nigga told me the governor called him, send police to my crib. You got it, brother. Fucking got it, nigga. I gotta go. Now I'm about to walk outside my own house with my hands up because of Meek Mill. Congratulations, y'all gangster rapper finally won.
This is our favorite rapper. Well, actually, ain't nobody's favorite rapper, man. <laughs> Yo. I'm not even going to say he did it, bro, but I'm going to just say the police thought there was a break-in in my house. And I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'm, I'm chilling. They're like, yo, you sure? Like, we getting calls. I'm like, bro, there's nothing happening, bro. I'm just chilling, bro. I'm just chilling. This is all because of Meek Mill, my nigga. Man, I just want to sit here and, and, and ask y'all, how is Meek Mill not a rat? How is Meek Mill not a rat, bro? How is you trying to play gangster games, but you asking for niggas full on address when you know you this? Yo, look at this. There's four million people who seen this tweet, nigga. If you really gangster, nigga, why would you tweet that out? You think the police ain't finna see that? If you was really on that, why not just say I'm gonna just catch this nigga slipping? Why not just say I'm gonna just keep it silent? If you really on that, like really, if you really was so tough, but you're not tough. Just stop cosplaying as a, as a gangster, my nigga. You send the police to my crib, nigga. You don't know these niggas. I got guns in here. I'm moving around with a gun. Nigga, I go out like, who the fuck out here, nigga? They might be. They might think I'm the nigga who breaking into my own house. I mean, they all know me. I'm the only black nigga in the hood. But still, like, bro, like, yo, Meek, just stop with the coonery, my nigga. Yo, please. Y'all don't got to like me, but just please tell Meek to stop tweeting. Don't tweet nothing more about addresses, nothing about you. Out of, if you're not finna do it, bro, we just shut up, bro. Please, just please shut up. Like, I'm at that point with you. Just shut up. Like, you a goddamn herb, nigga. Like, you a rat. You literally told me in your tweet saying you called the governor or you talked to the governor and tell him I, I, I was responsible for murders. Listen to this shit. This is what this bitch-ass nigga done said about me today. Told me he said to the governor, I'm just asking y'all if me not a rat, what are y'all calling other niggas rats for? If Meek isn't a rat, why y'all calling these? Look, the governor called me and checked me, and I took it down after I explained to him that this guy has powered the biggest rat beefs that I, that killed some of my friends. Huh? You saying you telling the governor I'm responsible for murders, my nigga? You got police showing up to my house, and you a gangster, bro? Bro, this is why when 6ix9ine popped, popped out on you, all you did was record, bro. Like, what's up with you? This is this is the big tough gangster nigga I've been telling about. I'm, I keep telling y'all, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, do not be scared of these rap niggas no more. I'm telling you. Well, some of them, yes. Niggas like Meek Mill, no. I told him today we could catch a fade. Crickets, no answer. He could have said, all right, I'm going to have Savage set it up. No more questions. We could do it. He ain't say that. He could have said, all right, nigga, let's, let, let's go do a celebrity boxing. He ain't say that. Crickets. He don't want to do nothing physical, nigga. But now I'm going to show up. I'm gonna, I, I wish I had the tweet. I know somebody got it. Somebody got it. This is what this nigga told me. This is what this nigga told me. This is y'all favorite gangster rapper. This is y'all favorite gangster rapper. Sent, sent cops to my crib. He said, this is what he was saying earlier. I'll die to shut you down. Nigga, you going to die of boredom on the 911 call when you calling the cops on, on, on to come to my house. That's what you going to do. Meek Mill is a whole fucking rat. I'm sorry to say that. Listen, if y'all continue to fuck with his music, fuck with anything he on, good for y'all, but y'all can't be picking and choosing. Niggas like Gunna, niggas like 6 ix 9 then nigga, I, then, bruh, I could show you my, this is my security camera at my gate. I, I have a whole gate, security camera, everything. I see, it has a license plate scanner, everything. Anybody who pulls up, I see it. My gate locked. I hear my dogs, they going crazy. My all my sensors going crazy like somebody's there. I have nothing coming to my crib. I look on the shit, police. I could show y'all, y'all could know I didn't just randomly like on some weird shit. I could I could show y'all. I could show y'all this is 3-1. Look, look, look. Uh shit. I don't know if y'all can see it. The re one. It's three one. Like I ain't just make this some shit up. You feel me? The boy got police coming to my house. I'm supposed to be the nigga who called police. I thought I was the civilian. <laughs> Somebody said, you just said they thought it was a break-in? That's my exact problem. I'm not even saying he called them because I'm not like him who's dumb and who's not going to be non-factual. My thing is this. If you so gangster, like, like I hate when y'all try to like just make, if you're so gangster, I don't, bruh, you know how many times... Like, this niggas, the Vic Mensa shit, I never knew he didn't like me. 
Bro, if you got a problem with me and you really trying to do something, don't tweet out to 5 million people, give me his address that I could pull up. You have my address. It's on Google. Don't tweet it out. You tweet it out. Now you're going to have fans trolling. Now you're going to have all type of weird shit happening. You might even have other niggas that's just trying to do some bullshit. That, to me, is snitching. I'm sorry to say. Because if you were going to do something really and truly, you would have done it. You have my address. You have it. I could give you my studio address. You say you're going to be there. I bet your ass won't be there. That's a fact. I would love to walk, get out of my car and see Meat Mill in front of me. I would love it. It won't happen. But I'm just telling you, bro, just, just please stop with this snitching shit, my nigga. And I'm the civilian. Because I call cops better than you. I promise you I do. I call the cops way better than you. You calling the cops on some amateur shit. You're just saying shit to try to publicly punk me, but I'm I'm actually standing on it like, no, no, you got to do it now. Nah, I don't. What do you think I'm about to like, oh, my God, Mick said he's going to come to my house. No, nigga. When your pussy ass finna show up, give me time of day that I could be here too. You ain't finna be there, nigga. You got to do a bunch of nothing. Right? So now I'm calling you out. All right, you said you're going to be at the crib. When? I need to be here. I don't want to see, like, you claim a nigga with some dream chase. You giving niggas change and taking it back. I don't want to see them niggas. I want to see you. When? Give me a time. Give me a date. Then you're going to be at my house. And don't be, like, try to sneak your dick out. Like, first of all, taking your dick out of my property, that's weirdo shit already. Nigga, you taking your dick out. Your name is Freak Mill, nigga. You taking your dick out with Diddy, nigga. I don't know what you got going on. So if you going to try to piss on my steps and record it, nigga, how about you knock on my door and I'll answer it and say, Meekmo, what's up? You're, you're on my property. What we doing? Here we go again. <sighs> Chat, I'm telling you, man. All this is caused by this nigga's tweet, bro. All this is caused by this nigga's tweet, bro. That's the point I'm trying to say. This whole I'll die to shut you down. I'm going to treat you exactly to the effects of you influencing I'm gay. And I have three sons. I'm getting your Addy. I'm coming now. Bro, this is what he was saying, bro. I'm outside your podcast every day. As soon as I get back, I'm going to show you who I am. I told him, yo, bro, you told my ass if a nigga address, you playing wild games, nigga. That's some death games. He said, we going to see. He said, in my city, we don't do no talk. You want street niggas to die. I can't wait till that liquor hit your organs. Nigga, you off perks, nigga. You literally basically admitted that, nigga, you were sick off them shits, niggas. You told my shit hitting your organs. I ain't never been sick off no fucking alcohol. You seem like you were sick off them perks, my nigga. So who closer to the death, me or you? Then now he's blaming me for the lawsuit. Here's this. I told him, go to page 13. Your name is redacted, but it's explained as you're the Philadelphia rapper who dated Nicki Minaj. This is what he said. This the weird ass lawsuit right here. Type in Philadelphia rapper in, in search Adobe to get straight to it. This shit, nothing. I got two sons. I'm coming to NJ to your crib live on camera. Bro, this nigga is the cops, man. Yo, if we not jacking Meek as a snitch, bro, I'm done with this shit, bro. Meek done snitched on me. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This nigga said he told the governor I'm responsible for murders. He got cops showing up to my crib on a live stream. I'm sorry. If that ain't snitching, I don't know what it is, okay? Luke, I could have 30K. You can um, get me a real file on this guy. Meek, I could put a million on you, nigga. The fuck is you talking about? Don't ever talk money, nigga. <laughs> The fuck is this, this goofy ass nigga talking about? I'ma just, I'ma just beat you up light shit. Don't make it a threat. Meek, let's box. Please let's box. Meek, I'm down to I'm, I'm down to catch a squabble with you. I like, no, I'm not down to fight Saucy Santana. I'm down to squabble with you. You're this gangster rapper. You're a killer. I'm I'm cool. If I catch a loss, it's cool. I'll even shake hands afterwards. Like. Bro, we both millionaires. We ain't trying to do no crazy shit. Me and you could just box, bro. It could be private. It could be public. I don't care, bro. Let, let, let's, let's box, Meek. Meek, let's box, bro. Like, come on. Let, enough is enough. Enough is enough. Meek, let's get to the hands, gang.
Let's get to the let's get to the hands. We could have Savage set it up. Let's actually I right, let's see what's up. I just want to see where you at with it. The same hatred or whatever you claim you got for me, let me just see it in hands format. Look, and then here's the most pussy shit I've ever seen. I'm going to just pull up and shoot a piss video on your steps and taunt you like the geek you are. Yo, Meek, with all due respect, you pulling up to another man's property and pulling out your willy to piss on his steps is the exact reason why niggas thought you was gay, nigga. Why are you pulling up to a nigga's cribs and pulling your dick out? What's up with that? Hey, yo, what's good with that shit, nigga? If you pulling up to my crib, nigga, why are you just going to pull your dick out? How about you knock on the door? How about, nigga, I'll invite you in. <laughs> He says, I'm going to pull up to shoot a video and piss on your... This is why all of the gangster shit he was talking about when... Y'all want to go back to the video? Let's go back to the video. 6 9 Meek Mill. Nigga, that's a fact you pussy, nigga. That's a fact you pussy, nigga. And you security. This is security. That's security, nigga. You pussy, nigga. Look, you tight, and you with police, and you with police, nigga. Look, that nigga's a cop. That nigga's a cop, nigga. You pussy, nigga. That nigga's pussy. That's a fact. That nigga's pussy. Look, and you with a cop. We don't got no security. I got my own. I got my own fight on the security in the club. That nigga's a cop, and this nigga pussy, nigga. You a bitch, nigga. You a bitch, nigga. You a bitch, nigga. You a bitch, nigga. I fuck you up, nigga. You a bitch, nigga. All y'all niggas pussies, nigga. Yeah, bitch ass securities bring six nine over here, huh? What y'all trying to get me locked up? Weirdo. What y'all weirdo? What I tell y'all about Meek Mill? When he ain't do a motherfucking thing, his only retort is gonna be. Yo, you're trying to trick me off the streets. Meek, shut the fuck up. Nobody in industry envies you at all. You're a failure. You used to be compared to Future. That nigga just gave you a pity verse on your fucking whack-ass EP. That's a fact. You talk shit when niggas is like, all right, what's up? Let's do something. You're like, oh, now you're trying to trick me off the street. Look, me and Meek, if Meek want to go try to do some gangster shit, he could trick himself off the street. I don't care. I'm offering Meek. A one-on-one -on -one fade. Let's get it. Let's get it over with. Me, me and you, we can have a one-on-one -on -one fade. We can set it up with anybody. We could do it for money or we could do it for free. But this been just too long, and a nigga like you been thinking you bullying me for a long time. And I'm telling you, if if it wasn't for anything in hip hop, this is what I want to stand for because you were the epitome of somebody who think they could bully a nigga. And I, I would not take that, my nigga. I'm sorry. So, let's figure it out. I'm down. We can find a mutual venue. You don't need none of your niggas with you. I don't need nobody with me. Me and you, it could be no rules. It could be rules. It could be referees, no referees, whatever you want. But I don't think you're like that. I think you're just a ugly big bitch from, from Philadelphia who don't represent that city no more like that. And I wouldn't talk like this to every rapper, but I just really think you a bitch. So let's go. I don't want to see none of your mans. Yeah, you got a couple niggas from what I've heard that's a killer here and a... Bruh, any... Yo, you pay them niggas nickels and dimes, nigga. Everybody got money, nigga. I could pay a nigga 100000 go end his life for me. What the fuck? Me and you. If you that mad about shit that really, as I said, another nigga accused you of being gay. But you want to... You trying to do the bully thing. All right, nigga, this is, the, this is finally, this is the part of the movie where I'm like, all right, fuck it. Get the bully over here and let's fight. I'm down to squabble with the bully. 
But I guarantee that pussy nigga Meat Mill ain't going to want to box me. Don't want to do nothing. You know what he going to do? He going to tell me about his mans and his killers and all these niggas he been paying. And no, nigga, me and you. I'm down. I am so down. This is, first of all, even if I lose, I, even if I lose, I can't lose. <laughs> Sosaville, fuck you, nigga. Diddy could be front row, too. You know what I mean? You can fight for his love. I ain't fighting for shit. I'm just fighting for... I'm just... Because I ain't with a nigga trying to bully me. Like, that shit's over, man. That nigga was talking all that tough shit. Yo, I'm going to show up to your crib. Meek, I wish you would. Like, you, you didn't... If you was going to show up, you could have DM'd me. Meek, I got your number, nigga. Matter of fact, I should call him, right? I should call this nigga on the stream. Nigga, I got your number. You got mine. I don't even know why you... I don't even know why you was on some some, some internet shit with me. Nigga, I got your number. I'm going to call you. I'm, I'm going to just call your phone. Let me call your phone. Maybe he switched his number. I don't know. I'm going to call his phone. This is what you should have done. That was the agreement. That nigga probably on the line with police, man. Or with the governor or some dumb shit. Hey, let me... The governor tell him, yo, stop beefing with Ack. Yo, let me tell you about this guy, Ack, man. He, yo, he's responsible for a lot of murders. Yo, he got a lot of my friends killed. Yo, come on. Yo, yo, governor, come on. Can we charge him? Yo, 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 can we just... Yo, to give him a Rico. Like, give, yo, give him something. Yo, he's been killing people in the hood. What type of snitch shit is that? This nigga said he called the governor to explain to the governor how I'm responsible for murders. This y'all favorite rapper? Let me call this nigga again, man. I, the phone wrong, wrong, so it wrong. So let me see. And, and me, the, the number you had gave me was a 267 number, nigga. I'm calling the same number. And it's the only number I ever got for you, nigga. Nigga probably on a prayer line with the governor, man. This nigga, man. The, the, the thing I despise most about this nigga is that he's cosplaying. And in any, in any single moment, you hear him go on reform mode, Right? It's like you could tell that he don't get no more music, money for music. Nigga, after you told about pulling up on a nigga and all oh, you on that murder business, didn't your, rec your own record saying if you ain't on that murder, like, wait, wait what's that song? How, how did the intro go? If you ain't about that murder game, then pussy nigga shut up. Nigga, you was on that and deleted the tweets and tweeted out the reform alliance. What are you talking about? Meek Mill intro lyrics. We got to like start really holding these niggas to what they claim they're about. And then you can't say, yeah, here's the thing. I'm telling y'all now, y'all can't say that I'm police. He sent the cops to my crib and told me he told the governor about me. So to keep it real, I should real. I got all the police, like, I, 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 I'll police anybody. So with all the police shit he did, I definitely could play police shit too. But here's the thing. What did he say? What did he say? He said, if you ain't by that murder game. Wait. Uh, fuck. Wait, what the fuck? Ain't this the intro? Oh no, this ain't the, the real intro. God damn it. No, it's Dreams and Nightmare intro or something like that. Yo, it's been so long that this nigga had a hit. It's been so long this nigga had a hit. This shit is from like 2012 that we still playing. This is the only like bright spot of this nigga's, this, this whole nigga's career. Is it this? Right here. Cool. Here we go. I'm like, real nigga, what up? Real nigga, what up? If you ain't buy that murder game, then pussy nigga, shut up. Oh, man. Sad case, man. So anyway, we'll get back into it. Um, also, you know, 
Um, I, I don't want to like dox myself any anything, but um, I'm gonna just shout out to the police department who I know is kind of looking, probably looking at this stream now after I had to give them a a, a very um wacky explanation of why the fuck people are calling them about my house and situations possibly at my house. Me telling them that a uh, lame ass non gangster snitch ass rat ass rapper named Meek Mill has basically put me in the crosshair of all investigations after he told a Pennsylvania governor that I'm responsible for murders and then tweeted out publicly what's my address because he's gonna pull up and do shit which only an idiot would do that like have you ever seen King I mean well King Von used to do some shit like that but well, come on like like this ain't King Von this is like Meek Mill you feel what I'm saying? Like, like, like we we, we got to put this in perspective. It's a reason. I don't know. Oh, did I get to the end of this? It's a reason, nigga. It's a reason. Oh, hold on. Oh, shit, I forgot. It's a reason this clip exists, man. It's a reason why. It is. Can't wait to the White House. Bar. She said, "Look, my job is done, Mama. We out." You know what I'm saying? So then I I go and I put White Lives Matter on a T-shirt. And they're like, "Well, we can't go." Get, oh, you know what? Let's go get celebrities. Let's go get. Let's go get Puff Daddy. Let's get Dave Chappelle. Let's go get Meek Mills. What made somebody think Meek Mills could say something to me? <laughs> What mean? No, this is the funniest thing of, of everything. <laughs> Yo, man, I'm about to start crying laughing, man. Somebody thought Meek Mills. <laughs> sorry. No, I'm sorry. Meek is a gangster. Like, go get to my <laughs> gangster, gang. <laughs> Meek is a gangster, somebody man. Thought, somebody said, oh, Meek. Hey. No, I'm literally in tears. <laughs> Speaking of which, so, let me call Wack 100. The world 